morning everybody hopefully everyone is having a good morning Morning, Jeff. Morning, Wanda, Lisa. Marlon. Ellen, Jennifer, good morning everybody. Hope everybody is having a good start to your Saturday morning. Morning, Jerry. Some surprises me how uh, close some of you guys are. How far away some people are, and how close other people are. Morning, Carlo. Glad you all are joining. South Dakota, very cool. Marlin, finally the sun is shining. Yeah. It uh it was shining on me yesterday and it went cloudy again today. Rained all day yesterday, Wanda. Yeah, it actually didn't rain here for me, but it's been, man, it's been just swampy for a while. It's finally drying out a little bit. Morning, Jen. Good, Jerry. Hope you guys are having a good morning. So... The way I like to do these live feeds is just uh, feel free to ask any questions. Just uh, kind of the time that I can answer questions a little bit better. Some of the comments I miss and that way you guys can get some questions answered while you are watching the button just like me. Coyotes, pretty feisty with uh, some girls. He ate their liver. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's a little bit on the other side. He uh, liked it away. Lisa, uh, I think the rain came east raining buckets yesterday well I had somebody leave a comment last week and say uh, bring it out to North Carolina so uh, maybe I did something ac accidental <laughs> your dingoes don't like the rain happy not right now that's funny Yes, uh, it is a good Memorial Day. Good, good to remember those who have served and have uh, fought for our country. Uh, when did I get a bull? I got a bull 
Um, it was about a week or two later after I bought the four girls. So it's been uh, been about two months or something like that. Uh, have I used diatomaceous earth for parasite control? I have not. Um, I have often thought of it, and I'm going to try to do some experimenting, but um, I have only done that for chickens, which it does work very well with chickens, I will say. Yes, uh, the bull is the one right in front of me, if you guys don't recognize him. Walking Coyote is his name. And he likes his feed, as you can tell. I wasn't live at the time, but I called him, called him in from the other side of the pasture, and man, they came running. That was uh, something I've told you guys is really fun to see them once they get excited with feed when you can whistle them come running in. It's uh, it was really fun having people out at my farm with my last herd and I had somewhere around 15 animals, uh, give or take whenever I I uh, had them and you could whistle and they would run and at 30 mile an hour straight for the fence and people would get and they would stop on a dime right in front of the fence. Um, Lisa, how long does the uh, fur take to shed off? <clears throat> they will kind of do this. It'll be shaggy throughout the summer. Um, you can see from some of them they will lose it in patches and for whatever reason some of it will hang on a little longer than others but it'll it'll kind of do this throughout the summer till about fall you know most of it might be gone here in the next month or so but just the way they are the bull he's lost almost all of his fur off the, his back end but he's already grown his next back so when is the breeding season it is uh, typically July and August so they go through rut like a uh, deer does they're, they're kind of funny they're in the bovine family they are related to cows in that sense but then they have very different traits like uh, deer wood and stuff. Yeah, likes likes girls for the feed. I don't have a whole lot of feed for them this morning, so I didn't throw a lot of feed out to the other girls, and they're kind of wandering off. And coyote and strand and red prairie right here his grown up with The bison gestation length, it is very similar to a cow's. 200 and something days, I can't remember off the top of my head. So typically they will breed in the summer, July, August. 
and then you will see them uh, the old calf some somewhere between April and, and June. How did I get the names? Um, they, uh, I just came up with them. Um, I am very fond of Indian culture. Uh, I always have been. And uh, the way the Indians used to name them were, or used to name their children, were they would uh, name them off of something that was significant, either that day or on them. So, back up. Might just hold that. Give me one second. Little River knocks, knock the camera down. Hopefully that's better. Uh, but yeah, so they all have uh, names that are kind of significant to them. Uh, Walking Coyote was an uh, Indian who um, had six bison, and a lot of the bison that we have today actually come from those six animals um, that he saved. So that was kind of some of the significance of that. Uh, White Feather, um, it was just a name I really liked. Black Feather. Uh, named her that because she is the darkest of the herd. Um, Little River, her name was that because she is the smallest of the herd. Red Prairie was named that because she was the sister of uh, the two that I got from Peter Cole and she had a redder coat than the others. Um, and Strong Wind named her that because she the, like he was the dominant of the the herd at the time so thank you Lisa why did I choose bison um, I've always been enamored with bison. I've always thought they were just a very majestic animal. And uh, when I found out they were mostly raised on ranches, about 60% of them were raised on ranches, then uh, I decided that's what I wanted to do. And the more I studied on them, the more I was amazed by them. They are just a tremendous animal to be around they um, are just just awesome I mean I could talk for an hour how long how cool they are and how um, just adaptable they are how fast they are they're just a whole lot of fun Uh, how do I know cross timbers bison? Uh, I got dusty last fall. Um, I started doing this, started the YouTube channel, and I went out there and met him, did a little interview on him, and that was actually my first upload to this channel was the interview with Dusty Baker and cross timbers bison. You can check that out. Um, and that was a whole lot of fun. Got to meet him. He's just a awesome guy. He's got a really uh, cool thing going on out there. Yep, the uh, females will be too young to breed this summer, unfortunately. Morning, Crystal.
Yeah, Jerry, um, they, they are fun. Uh, I did not have a farm or anything like that. Um, when I first got started, I had to work for a couple years to figure it out. Let me get to it. Appreciate it, Cindy. Um, Lisa, when purchasing, what attributes do you want to look for? Um, I could kind of be a little long-winded on that. Uh, I've made some other videos talking about bison quality. Might go back and check those out. But the um, reason why I'm being a little short on this is because my battery is running low. So I might have to end this shortly. But uh, in a general sense, you want to look for just healthy animals, long, tall, healthy animals, um, clear eyes, uh, thick coat, shiny coat, um, and some things like that. So, sorry I had to be a little short on your answer. Morning Lisa from Michigan. That's awesome Katie, I appreciate that. The channel is growing, fortunately, and uh, we are very fortunate to all you guys for helping support our ranch. You know, the, the channel is tied to our ranch, and um, the goal is to have quite a few of these animals someday, and this is just the start. So, appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see the uh, growth of the ranch. What age are the females capable of breeding? Somewhere around two years old, if they uh, are healthy enough. Appreciate that, Jerry. Morning, Bill. Just above the freezing Jerry. It's a little colder than me. It's a little chilly this morning. Morning, Fedmar. Jen, uh, ground still a little bit, drying up a bit. So hopefully we get a little bit of a break and some sunshine. So we need some sunshine to get the grass to grow. Thank you, Nathan. Um, Crystal, do males have a mane similar to lions or do females get manes like males do? They all have the same type of uh, kind of fur pattern. The uh, bulls can get like what they call a crow's nest on top of their head sometimes, a lot of hair. But most of the time their, their fur pattern is very similar. Well guys, I may have to cut it short there. My uh, battery's back on. So hopefully you guys all have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. Um, we will uh, try to do this about every Saturday. Try to, try to catch up with you guys as best as I can. I know it's a little early. Morning, Julie. It's chilly here too, yeah it is. It's kind of sweeping across the country, it seems like. Uh, Jen, is the creek still high? No, it's coming down quite a bit. So the uh, water table is a lot lower. Appreciate you guys joining. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. Thank you for uh, um, just uh, supporting. Really, really appreciate it. So. We'll see you guys next time.